him with one Pachiri and 47 minerals. It was something nice spread from the Mutalus, too, so that, that splash damage can be negated pretty much. Um... I don't know. It looks like it looks like Hollow's gonna take an expand here. Um, it does appear that Hollow and Cozy's, or it looks like um, I want to say Pain Clan does know about this base now because of the over overhead uh, uh, overhead base here. But you know, Corsair can't really do can't really harass a base that well. Um, oh yeah, but if you if you'll notice, like right now is uh. Is is the time where you can really tell how much damage uh, Zalvik done with Mutalis when he killed the Nexus is by looking at uh, Zalvik's main base and seeing how many patches is left there, and then Hollow's main base and seeing the difference. Yeah. And it, and normally Zerg is the one who runs out of the minerals at the main base for uh, last. Yeah. Comparing to Purputas and other races. Um. And, oh yeah. And it is a good thing that, that he did manage to get that third base. I don't know if he'll be able to secure it or not because there is some... Uh, because Hollow is going to try to take it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are two Sungans here. Um, but DT will be having short work of that. Um, but now how's he going to... Oh, he's just going to do a base trade. Which, you know, he can't really afford to kill off. He cannot really afford... And he's even just going to back off now. It doesn't look like he's uh, it, he is backing off, but if I was him and and we have DTs, I would actually, uh, no, I didn't make DTs, but I I would have attacked his natural base because right now he's actually losing a lot of time running back all his troops uh, to yeah. his main base, and and while all this happening, uh, what Zalik is gonna do is he's gonna destroy his natural, which is soon gonna be. Uh, his main base is almost depleted. He's yeah. gonna destroy his tech. Yeah, he also killed off the third base. I never even noticed. Like those buildings yeah. were destroyed. I didn't even see that. But yeah. And and, and that's when you see the logical decisions Zolwick make are actually actually help him uh, to keep the advantage in this game because he did decide to counter attack instead of engaging straight into the battle against. Uh, yeah. Follow. Yeah. Because he'd lose all his troops and that way would not compensate for the loss of his third base. Yeah. I mean, we can see the storm wrecks through Hydralis. So, I mean, like, you know, it's, I mean, but, I mean, the problem is, like, he, he, I mean, he's floating high in minerals so he can re-expand. But, I mean, like you said, it's going to take a, full, like, a, that's going to be, like, another, like, like, a minute and a half at least for that, that to be fully saturated again. Oh, yeah, and, uh. Not only that is that he has only one mineral patch left at his main base, which is uh, 28 minerals. So he's going to be doing distant mi distant mining for quite a while right now until his uh, natural expansion nexus is over. Uh, he's not going to be able to engage into an attack here because it is quite uh, Sim City nicely, and there are lots of sunken colonies and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Even if. He even if he does manage to take off his natural expansion, he still has a third base. You know what he should have done? He should have stormed that. He should have stormed that mineral line instead. Yeah, he yes. just quit. He just quit. He, I'm just like, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm just, I'm not dealing with this bullshit anymore. <laughs> and, and, and I love the fact that his uh, teammate, uh, Cozy, just stayed in the game for some reason. He can't he just, even build a drone. I, I guess he's AFK right now. I guess he decided. Look, I'm just gonna wait and like until whoever wins or loses, and if if we we'll win, we we'll win. If not, then I'll get eliminated. Um, I guess that's what's happening right now. Yeah, I guess. Oh well, I guess we just have to wait and see what what happens. Um, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe now we're just gonna see Cozy somehow make an extraordinary comeback with 47 minerals and one hatchery. <laughs> um, I don't think that's possible. I mean, what does he, what does he have? He's an overlord. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I was like... He finally left the game. And it's like, what was going on right there? That was kind of crazy. Okay, so... So we saw a 2-0 um, of this 2v2. Okay, so not terrible. Not terrible. It was actually quite interesting because we did see uh, a nice comeback by Zalwick. Yeah, yeah. That was, a, that was not a bad 2v2, I would have to say. Um... Cannot complain. So our next game, while I'm refixing up the overlay, will be create. Um, it will be between El uh, Payne's Elena Elena 
versus uh, Prozoic. So Prozoic will be making a comeback, and uh, he was he was a pretty pretty good pretty good uh, guy last ga last game. I got to say. Uh, I'm so, uh, so I'm just gonna try to join the game right now. And oh, it's not made yet. I, I I'm changing up the overlay so I can so I don't have to do it in game. Uh -huh, right. Well, uh, is it gonna be another two v two or is it a one? It's one v one. It's one v one. It's the rest of them are one v one. There's a. There's a two. There's one two v two per series between the team, but last time we didn't have the reps for it, so it's okay. Oh, and what are the races? I have no idea. I just I just know what the game. I just know I just know Cozy and Brazil are reserved versus Zerg, so we'll have to see. How it's gonna go. We'll have to see what these uh, players are. Um, so Pain Clan, and then we have Salvation Army. What a great name for a team. <laughs> Salvation Army. Okay. If I can just press the button. Do, 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 do. Alright, so, I mean, that was a fun TV, too. It just takes a while to remember everyone's names. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I'll never remember anyone's names because I have uh, memory problems. Oh, yeah. I, it, it, I can't remember, like, after, like, two days I'm like I remember like yeah I really like this guy but then like uh what was his name again like what yeah like even with the pro league I can't remember most of the ones that are recent like the new uh, gamers and pro league pro gamers I don't even know their names oh yeah I only know like older guys like Jada on flash effort you know those yeah the people who've been around for a while so Elena Payne Prozoic. All right. Okay, we got game one's gonna be on Sniper's Ridge. Did you make it? Yep, just made it. Uh, so okay. I'm not gonna. I think Prozoic. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go say Prozoic's gonna win. Just straight out of there. I'm gonna. My 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 idea for this matchup is gonna be Prozoic's gonna win. Well, let's see. Because I think Cozy's gonna win. <laughs> Do you think Cozy's gonna win? Yeah. No, from seeing the last game that was two v two, where uh. Well, it's Elena. It's, uh, it's oh, Zalvik. Because I just call him Zalvik. You call him Pro Zalvik. Yeah. Huh. I, I don't know. I think he might win. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it is a TVZ, however, and I did notice that uh, Pro Zalvik tends to go uh, very minimal army yeah. like he, he doesn't over invest in the army he's not over secure and uh in zvt sometimes it's bad because as we saw in earlier games there are situations <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. where one extra sun colony would save your main base mm. well shall we introduce our players i feel like we should i think you should okay so spawning in the top right it will be Pain Clan's Elena as the teal pro, uh, teal terror, and excuse me, on Sniper's Ridge. And his opponent will be the Red Zerg Salvation Army's Prozoic, who is going to be my favorite to win this. Oh, yeah. And, and the reason to that is because he did turn a 2v2 that we commentated previously into a... It was an unexpected result, to be quite honest. I did not expect that kind of comeback from a situation where player was in uh, 1v2 and yeah. then all of a sudden he managed to make it 1v1 and dominate the opponent <laughs> that was remaining. Yeah, but we'll see if Atlanta's going to have any kind of uh, tricks. Um, I'm assuming, I mean it could be a he or she, but um, I'll just go t tell it's a he for Elena or whatever, but kind of a girl's name, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like Bio will be the route um, or one max expand so far, so we'll see how it's going to go down. And guess what? <laughs> it's going to be tech. It's going to be tech? It's gonna be tech. He's no, putting down. No. Okay, fine. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay, okay. I didn't. The, he just literally put up that refinery run. I clicked away. Okay. I see how it But the thing about uh, bio is that whenever someone goes bio, they tend to. Uh, I do see the where you got it from because they tend not to block off their ramp. They don't yeah. even worry about it. And they just put down uh, barracks and uh, supply depot wherever they want to. Yeah. Uh, which is a big mistake he's making right now because his opponent is going for uh, an overpool mm. and he will be forced to retreat a couple of SCVs to his uh, ramp and ensure that 
uh, Zerglings are not going to be able to pass by and kill off all the Marines he's going to have because it is going to take him a, a lot longer and he's putting down a factory. Yeah. It's quite an interesting, uh, it's quite interesting because he did see that early, uh, spawning pool and he does see Link's building and he's not, he's not reacting at all. He's not, he, he, he's building a second Marine right now. Okay. So I, my natural reaction is just put a bunker at you, like at the top of your ramp. That's probably what I would do. Um, that's what I normally reactionally do. But we'll see. I mean, you think you just want to get contained for too long, like that other Terran. Um, uh, what was his name? Um, it was Games versus who? Um, uh, Games versus what was that other player's name? I totally forget. Oh, oh, oh! Games versus. Uh... I don't remember. Yeah, I was uh, someone from Pain Clan or something, but yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Well, that game, like, I mean, like, the like the Terran just could not expand for, like, 15 minutes of the game, and that was really bad for him. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and I mean, uh, Atlanta's really not, uh, not being careless because I know, okay, he does have, or he or she uh, has a unit out, a Vulture, which yeah. is... Which is completely useless against speed links because the vulture is not speed upgraded. Yeah. But it has forced uh, the force the links back though, oddly enough. Um, <laughs> which I don't understand to be quite honest because when you have speed links, last thing you should do is run away from a, a vulture yeah. that's not even upgraded because you might lose a link or two, but you can kill off a vulture yeah. and prevent any kind of uh, harassment or aggression. Yeah, no, it's totally true. Um, so, I mean, I, I, uh, where's, I mean, he must, okay, he, so he's doing the same, it was going race, he's going, he, he teched a starport, um, which, mm, well, he's going spire, so, I mean, Prozoic's going spire, so we'll see if that's, if that, that, if that race is really going to do a lot of damage, if it does, it's going to be really, really good, but, you know, it's kind of hard to out micro, uh, yeah, there, well, he's not to pull out a lot of SCVs, actually, but, um, you know, you can you can micro raid pretty well. It's just it, it's very hard to. It does look like he will manage to do a lot of damage with that wraith, which is why uh, which is why Zolwick is actually moving away all of his overlords from his main base because he is uh because the first thing that wraith does is supply blocks uh, Zerg in this kind of situation, and since he's fire is not down the last thing he wants is to get supply blocked and not being able to produce any kind of scourge or anything like that yeah i mean look how fast that that, that goes down especially if like a second one comes down it's just so annoying exactly and, and, and that's the situation you do not want to be as a zerg so uh ideally what you do is you either throw down an evo chamber or you just uh Wait. put down a hydra den yeah but it does look like there's uh He's building Mutalisk, uh, ironic, ironically, yeah. he's bu building Mutalisk instead of Scourge. And he did see that, uh, he did see that factory, he did see that vulture, so he should know better not to go uh, Mutalisk in this kind of build order because Mech just uh, rapes Mutalisk. Well, I mean, I can't even justify what Elena's is doing right now. Hey, look at this. He's getting plus one like infantry weapon upgrade. He got he got control tower on starport. Is he going like? And he's gotten stim, but he's off of one barracks, and he's yet to take an expand. He's is he going all in with like SCVs or is no? Okay, there we go. It was just like no, I, I I think what he's trying to do right now is uh he's trying his opponent to go into mutalisks uh because hmm. he expects race and whatnot and uh perhaps a drop. And while his opponent is going to be stacking up mutas and whatnot, he's just going to build up a, a bio army with the one science vessel, and he'll pretty much just irradiate mutas and destroy them. Yeah, that could be one of the scenarios, but I don't. I, I really have to see it happen because uh, there's a lot of things that you can predict in StarCraft, and they just take a completely different turn. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the thing that was, I mean, Terran's still one basing. Like, like that's still, like, happening. He's only producing out of one barracks. Okay, there goes down the second one. Um, but the thing is, he's teching so much, he can only, like, afford to produce, he can only afford to produce that two barracks. 
That's how crazy it is. He's even getting, he's getting three upgrades at once off of one base. <laughs> and not only that, he's also, uh, he has a very weird uh, turret placement and if normally when when I play as a Zerg, what I do is, it, is I fly as, far, as close to the minerals and uh, see how far the turrets are from it. And there's just enough room for Mutalists to fly in, not get hit by turrets and destroy uh, SCVs there, but he did not. He he decided to just pull away, which is also a good thing to do because mutilists mutilists are expensive units, and you want to hold on to them for as long as you can. Yeah, um, he just lost another one for one marine. It's not a very cost-effective trade. Um, <laughs> All that being said. Yeah, uh, I I mean I don't know. I can't like I mean Elena is still off of one base, and it's like eight nine minutes in the game now. It's eight eight minutes and thirty seconds. So it's like. I mean, it, it, it's it's gonna be interesting. He's even he's not even getting carapace. He's getting uh, you know attack attack upgrades, which I mean I don't know. I mean, I guess it can be proved to be a little bit more effective against bio, but I don't know. With with going to such heavy muta, I I expect you know carapace. Oh yeah, and, and and that's the thing that you can't really expect any kind of specific build order from someone like Atlanta because he did see raids. He did see vultures, and then he did see uh, uh, quite a sufficient amount of bio to assume that that's what your opponent is going to go as. So, uh, contributing or committing to something like going all in mutas right now is not really logical because what your opponent could do is he could be building up Goliaths right now. Yeah, I mean, the oh yeah, go ahead. If you, if you take a look at the at the vision that. Uh, that Zawig has, he, ha he does not see any tech whatsoever right now. Well, that, well, the, the thing is, like, that, that button is so messed up, because, like, he scouted there, but, I mean, obviously, he would have seen the barracks before. It's kind of hard, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, like, that button is so weird to, to figure out of what he's seen and what he hasn't seen, like, the, the UI of this game is so wacky. Oh, yeah, but, I, I mean, it's the game that was made in 1998, and, and, Going back to the whole uh, StarCraft 2 and StarCraft Brood War feud people have is, uh, I, I'm not going to deny that StarCraft 2 is a great game as in, uh, it does have nice graphics, it is a fun game, it has a nice plot and whatnot, mm -hmm. but it, it, it did get into pro scene a bit too early because it's not completely balanced yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you have to, I mean, the thing is, like, they kind of throw away every balance change they've gotten because they're adding new units so fast. <laughs> so, so it's like, so it's like a new expansion. So I was like, oh well, the thing is like, yeah, well I guess that's true. But you know, at the same point for a viewer though, like instead of seeing you know, you know, three hash meatless for every Z TVZ that you have, you get all these weird different builds going on. Oh my God, he irradiated two oh. mutas and he just lost at least five of them. Yeah, that's, and not to mention a lot of them are also weaker too. So, and and. And, and that's the thing about Zalvik is that I was expecting him, we were both expecting him to win this game, but he, he, he just put down four sunken colonies, and they're the, the, the panic colonies, yeah. as uh, Zerg player called them. It, and, and, and to be quite honest, it is, uh, he is going a bit overboard. He shouldn't even bother putting down the, the, the seventh one that he just did, wow. or the sixth. Yeah, he's been down a lot of them. Well, I mean, the thing that I have to say for, like, Elena's play right now, though, is, like, uh, Elena's playing this, like, not, like, not standard. Like, I, I'm not sure if, like, they know, you know, standard openings, but, like, I mean, it, just reacting, like, perfectly to what their opponent's doing. I mean, like, one basing for a prolonged period of time. I mean, now look at them. They were one basing up to, like, eight, nine minutes of the game. Look at the map control they have. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's a lot of sunkens, though. That is a lot of sunkins, and that's the Atlanta's mistake right now. Yeah. Is that, uh, he or she did uh, commit to this attack, and it might work, it might not work out. And if it does, I think then, it uh, worked. Yeah. It naturally, is gonna go down, and uh, it actually did manage to work out. So uh, it looks like it's a GG for Zalwick. Yeah. But if if we look on the other hand, he did manage to take down natural expansion for Atlanta, and he is heading back to defend his main base. 
It is, however, not a good thing for a Zerg to be on a one hatch because your macro is down. You cannot produce units as efficiently as you can with two hatcheries. And there is three science vessels that might irradiate your mutilists. So this 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 engagement is going to be quite a uh, oh, dangerous right now. Oh no! But the oh, but he's bringing oh. The the irradiate yeah. placement is really the decision. Like it's it's a bad choice to yeah. irradiate mutilists that are right over yeah. your uh, marines because not only do they kill your marines, they also they they splash your marines. It, yeah, it doesn't really help in this situation. And he lost just uh, one, two. He's gonna lose all three science vessels. Yeah, so not great play from Elena. But I mean, still, I mean, took down the national expansion with like eight. Was it? Three, six, eight, yeah, three, eight sunkens with a with a bio push. That wasn't necessarily a terrible engagement, but I mean, oh, yeah, <laughs> and and I mean, the fact that uh, Zerg is uh, thirteen minutes into the game and on one hatchery, two hatches. Don't well, don't that, don't mind the base from the far off. That's game killer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just saw that. I just saw like Marines just going in there. It's like, well, that base done. <laughs> exactly. Um. Uh, not a good situation, and uh, me as a Zerg player myself, I, w I would probably GG by now at this point. Uh, uh, these drones are going to no base, to no to no one, to no man's land. <laughs> He's got to put down one more down there. So, I mean, I, I mean, Prozoic, I mean, I'm not going to say he's going to win, but both players have a one base. Uh, I mean, sure, a one base Terran is going to dominate a one base Zerg, but, I mean... Uh, what happened with CC? I did it just get killed off? The command center? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess it did. Oh. Because, but it, it is the fact that the reason why Zerg tend to have a, a lot, tend to be on the same level as Terran with two hatcheries and when Terran's on one base is not because of the minerals, but because of the fact that you have uh, ability to produce twice as yeah. many units as you would with one hatchery. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. And that's the problem he has right now. He can only produce two or, or three mutas at a time instead of six. And while uh, while Elena can still produce three, mar no, five marines at a time, and uh, tanks and all the other things without even worrying about second expansion because he does have enough minerals and gas. Yeah, I mean. Oh, this is this is gonna be tough because I mean Mutals are gonna be going in here again, killing off that expansion. Kill it! Oh, please tell me you got the cancel on that. Looks like you did. Um, it might be a base trait, but Bio is gonna be the much much more aggressive, much more destructive order of units here, and he might be doing that irradiate trick. Um, or they're just chilling in the base. I don't really know what he's trying to do. Uh, it looks like they're base swapping again, but this time actually uh, Zolvix uh, pushing into his main base, killing off all of his producing buildings. He is putting down some panic turrets right now that might be able to survive, but even if it does happen, uh, there's just way too many mutilists to hold back with yeah. all the turrets that he has. Uh, this is actually going to be a very interesting thing. Um... I mean, Terran can try to lift off, can try to sneak in like a supply depot. He does have a random SCV out in the open. He can put down the supply depot if he'd like to. Um, remember that. Um, you know, you know, Zolok still has like 800, 600 minerals banks, so he's going to be able to reproduce a hatchery somewhere. Um, but uh, he needs to kill off the re remaining of the buildings here. Um, and just killing off all the drones. So actually, I, I, th I, I think, I, for the, for the base trade, I think Elena's going to win. Uh, I, I, I agree with you on this one because Elena, because the thing with the Zerg is that you can either build extractors or you have to build a hatchery, and and that's the thing that extractors are in predictable locations while hatchery is uh, not really cost efficient when you're trying to just buy time to survive and not get eliminated before your opponent. Yeah, he does have one drone in the north part of his main base, so he can try to stall. Um. And yeah, see, Terran's gonna be well. He's gonna make a command center, which I don't understand why. When he could just put depots everywhere, but that's okay. Um, you know, I guess it will just be harder to kill off. So that will be the last building. He's not even gonna bother trying to trade or reproduce something. I guess. No, he will. He's gonna be putting a hatchery in his base. So, um, 
Yeah. Which I, to be quite honest, not understand because uh, it was scouted right away. Not only did it get scouted, it's also because he has that many more Marines that can easily deal with the amount of mutilists he has left. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. So I mean, base trade scenario, not a terrible game. It's just like, ugh, it's like oh my gosh, You're like you lost, just GG. Ah. Uh, Where's the command center? Oh, and there's the yeah. command center that uh, uh, Atlanta have put down. Yeah, I mean, he can even probably just lift it off into like the bottom, like left, just in the cor farthest corner of the map. Oh, I didn't even see Sniper Switch had like the center map. I didn't uh, the, that center base location. I didn't even see that. Um, I, it's the traditional uh, double gas location. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I know it wasn't on. Uh, uh, fighting spirit, but uh, I know I didn't see it there. Okay, so it was sending in like a couple of, couple of rhymes down there. Um, oh, he put down another hatchery though. I don't know, man. He may find that CC soon. But uh, uh, I honestly don't see any point in it because he has only 13 minerals. He has, he does have a drone that he can mine with. Yeah, he, and uh. This is quite interesting because you don't know who, like, uh, I'm actually not sure who's going to win at yeah, this point. Yeah, I, 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 Meatless here went on the bottom left. Might find that. Does that Overlord see that SCV? No, it doesn't look like he knows it. It looks like he's putting up his, his meter flock. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh, he found the base. He may have won this game now. <laughs> he might, but uh, oh. we can't really tell. Because of the amount that, because of the number of marines that uh, Atlanta has right now. Oh, I forgot. Atlanta. He still has his base. He still has his base still up and running. Okay. And he does have three science vessels, which is uh, which is at least six irradiates. On the amount of mutilists that he has, it is uh, it would make a huge impact and weaken them by a lot. Yeah, I thought I thought that was his last building. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see these other bit. I didn't see this other. Uh, this is uh, this is such a crazy game. Oh man. Um, Science Vessel's just dancing around now. Um, oh yeah. You, you just see him all over the map, and it, and it's funny because he the 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 advantage that Zalwick has is that he has a map control and he can deny any kind of scout from Atlanta. But at the same time, Atlanta has three science vessels and a. Uh, a sufficient amount of marines and medics. Yeah, he has spellcasters. Yeah. Spellcasters will always win in this scenario. Oh yeah. But that drone's starting to, to mine though, so I mean, I'm not gonna go say that's gonna be game changing. But the longer that drone's mining for, you know, <laughs> and, and the distance he's mining too. Yeah. Well, it looks like this like this game is gonna take uh, quite some time. Yeah. He is just trying to pick off whatever buildings he can. He's just gonna uh, bite at him every now and then, you know, just just harass him as much as he can. And it looks like Elaine is actually gonna push out with just science vessels because he or she is um, uh, as well aware that Mutilus is the only thing his opponent has right now. Yeah. Which hopefully they don't add links to this. I mean, he's almost at 50 minerals, man. He can almost produce another drone. So maybe Prozoic will win this. Maybe maybe my bet will win. They kind of want to see Tarn win now, though. Oh. And it looks like Alan is actually going to push out because I, I think his logic is, you know what, I have this factory floating with me. I don't need all the other buildings. I'm screwed anyways. I'm just yeah. going to push with it slowly. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true. That is, he even said dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Neither player knows what to do. It's so <laughs> it makes sense because uh, he he can't really afford just to sit on one's place and uh, and just wait to see what's gonna happen. Because if he will, then he'll let uh, he'll let Zolik pretty much build up a whole new base. Or that's what at least he or she thinks. Because uh, he's he, he's not aware of the fact that Zolik does have. A mining base, but he does. Uh, I guess Atlanta does take that into consideration that it could be a possibility. Yeah. Um, Mutalists looks like they're. I. I mean, <laughs> this is such a bizarre game. Um, that factory man, that 
I mean, even with like jets on that thing, it's still kind of going pretty slow. Um, this is pretty hard. This is pretty hard to watch. This is pretty. <laughs> this is pretty hard to watch right now. Um, so what did you have for dinner? I I, I had what I had chicken. I had like baked chicken. I had roasted chicken with oh, mashed good. potatoes, with mashed potatoes and corn. I had I had roasted chicken. Oh yeah, so. that's really well uh, with salad. Okay, salad's good. I'm not I'm not well not really I'm not a big fan on salad, but you know just yeah. generally, you know. I'm uh, yeah. I I think the reason why Atlanta could lose this game is because he left his uh whatever building left over stationary ones uh, without any supervision. Yeah. And what what Zolvik could have done is just go and kill them off. And then just harass his uh, factory until it gets red. Oh yeah, that's so true. Oh, Reed's going down though. But remember though, I mean the oh. Okay. No, see the thing though is like every time he's gonna go engage though, he can irradiate. Um, at least one meatless, which is one less meatless that he has to deal with. But you know, you have to keep in mind though. I mean, he's up to what three drones now? No, he had. Oh, he may just put, be putting down another extractor somewhere. Yeah, he he hit he he hit a drone down here, um, at that uh, six o'clock. Oh yeah. Just in case something, just as a just as a, as an option. Yeah. So he's gonna try to probably re-expand um, once that drone gets to know. <laughs> once that super long dr that that pathway. Still looking. And it looks like uh, Atlanta's down to one building right now, actually, and. Uh it is, uh, it is, it is, is two thirds, two thirds away from the the flames right now. Yeah, actually one third away from the flames. And if if uh, Zalvik actually manages just to get it into the flames, it will be enough to eliminate his opponent. <laughs> he he doesn't think there is not a hatchery, but there is one. <laughs> And, and there is some psychological game going on right now because he's trying to get Zolvik to tell him whether he has a hash for you or not. Yeah. Because that will ease, ease off his uh, search. Uh, he gets another radiate off and really nice one too. Okay, but nice split though. Where did that? And, and normally what I do in case of radiates is instead of just uh, trying to move my mutilisk away and whatnot, I just kill it with my own mutilisk because... Uh, by default, whenever someone irradiates a stack of mutas, it's usually the top one. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and the first muter you click when you attack a stack of mutas is uh, the, no. the, the same one that was irradiated. Oh, okay. Oh, he found the building! And he did get it into yellow, so they're... Oh my god, that irradiate is so bad. And he's not doing anything about it. He's just gonna lose a bunch of mutas right now. Oh, I don't think he realized that. Oh. Oh my god, that was that was painful to watch. <laughs> yeah, um Alright, so he's made a second drone. That drone's still chilling over there. This map is so big, it's such a douchebag move to like have his base trade scenario going down. Like I, I it's know, and this this kind of build order and this game just is gonna go on forever, but if he manages to get just one more hit on that uh, factory, he will be able to win this game, but He's just flying around. I guess what he's trying to do is just uh, distract those science vessels. And that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He's trying to make sure that the factory is left behind. I guess. Hmm. But I, I mean, you'll never know until you see. <laughs> and that's the thing about this game is that we we have to wait and see who's gonna win. Seriously. <laughs> oh man, this guy is just like, oh, he killed off an overlord. Probably. Which did nothing. <laughs> not do any damage to him whatsoever. Oh, that! Oh, oh another no, one. That's, that's, uh, and that's exactly what I was talking about. He did lose two mutas in that stack, and all the other ones are pretty badly damaged. Well, I, you know, the, the sad thing though is like we were like at five years, and now we have to like we got like six more, and I feel kind of bad because <laughs> we just have like this game that's just not going anywhere right now. <laughs> And, and that's the thing, it, it, it often happens in pro leagues as well, where, uh, well, not often, but it did happen a couple times where there were uh, base swapping and it was down to one building difference and then elimination and whatnot. 
Uh, you know, that would kind of suck if you had, like, a series that just happened like that for every game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I have a deja vu for some reason. A deja vu? Uh, yeah, um... I don't know why. I, I have a feeling like you said that before. It would suck if we had something like that for the whole season. <laughs> I think I think it was the ZVZ thingy. When I told you that ZVZ is the most boring thing to watch, though. <laughs> Maybe T maybe TBZ might be the, like the new thing now. I mean, or, or like base trading scenarios that they both kill. His, and it's just kind of funny just watching Elena just like start like talking about like. It's like. And look at Elena, he's raging. I mean, like. Yeah. He can't really take it anymore because he's walking around looking for a hatchery, which is nowhere in the original locations where it would be. Yeah. Because it is a remote hatchery that is placed in a place where no one would ever put a hatchery in, which is a logical move on Zalik's side, I believe. You know, you know, he's still at like 150 APM. No, he's just idle right now. He he's left to get. He's not doing anything. Who is? Elena. <laughs> his a, his APM will go down one by one by one. Yeah, he's he just left. Are you serious? Yeah, he, look at that. He, he's not moving. One of the, okay, there, there we go, there we go, there we go. He probably has, like, all tabbed. I'm like, well, screw this, man. I'm just <laughs> gonna put on some music. He's still 130 APM, though. Like, I don't get what he's doing with that APM right now. Who is? Uh, Elena right now? 150? Like, what? Well, he has two groups of Marines and Medics, at least, and a group of Science Vessel and a uh, oh, okay. Factory. 170. So it, crazy. It, it kind of does, but you do, like, the, he does, he is spamming a lot right now because there isn't much to do. While Zalwick is flying around with his mutilus all over the place, making sure that there's no other buildings. Come on, man. The other thing is, like, you know, pro, like, Zalwick's, like, like, actually winning right now, though. Like, he has enough minerals to, I mean, he's produced, I mean, look at that. I mean, he has, like, five, five, I mean, like, he's actually starting to get, like, a lot of, like, drone saturation on this. I'll fight two. Oh, yeah, and and, and the oh. other thing is right now is that he did get to get some free free shots on that uh, factory. Yeah. And unlike Slavic, uh, Elena has only this factory left, and it's uh, pretty much hundred points away from being in the red, where it burns down and just dies. Um. Yeah. Uh. He. You know, the thing is, like, he has yet to actually check down in the bottom right, though. Like, that's like. <laughs> He, he hasn't rechecked down there. Um. Well, I guess I guess the limitation of his uh, scouting is the fact that he can't send uh, Marines one by one because Mutas will pick them off, and he can't send the full flock because of the factory. He uh, the, the factory is like a, it's like a weight rock that's pulling him down and just like limiting his uh, mobility. I wonder if he just sent one science vessel to go around. Uh, it looks like he's no, he's flying around with science vessels so he can actually irradiate mutilisks. He can also irradiate the, the overlords. Cause you have to keep in mind that those are still like watching them, you know, still getting efficient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny though. We're kind of like just seeing like these drones, just like I like the weirdest pathing to get to, to get the main base. Uh, he's taking another hatchery. He's what? He's taking another hatchery in the top right. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah. This, yeah. Oh man, this this is this is crazy. Oh. Yes, I do have to admit that Zolix probably is gonna win this game. I'm speeding this up four times now. This is stupid. All right. This is silly. Okay. Um. I don't, I don't really know what to say. Like like what could you like what could he be doing? We could send a medic around and just uh, I guess scout with that or just one marine or something. Okay. Or the best thing he could have done is uh use a racer trick on Mutilus with his science vessels because yeah. it is very effective in fact. Well <laughs> uh. and I, I'm just waiting for a moment he just like either Rage quit Rage quit or Oh he found it He found the bed <laughs> He found it. He found it. He found what? He found the base, but it's too late now because he's still. Like, look at the top right. He's fully saturated his base. Oh, yeah. 
And his his building's in the red right now. Oh, is it? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he lost. Like, he lost. He definitely lost this game. And right now, Lan is probably like. Whoa. Oh man. Oh my God, this is hilarious. This is. Look at all the sunken colonies just gonna go up. <laughs> I love how he puts down creep colonies before his spawning pool. He's checking everywhere. Oh. Oh, that that was not. Oh wow. Okay, so Prozoic Windman, we <laughs> we saw it. We, uh, I don't. I, I think Elena probably should have won that, but <laughs> even score wise, Elena does have seventy. 6,000 over 71,000 that uh, Zalwick had, so it, it does show that Atlanta did go, uh, did eliminate, uh, kill more units, did uh, mine more minerals and whatnot, but... <laughs> it's just a loss, just straight up. It's, oh, it's sad. Man. Alright, so getting past that really ridiculously long game, we're gonna go on to Coliseal Mole. Coliseal Mole. Uh, How many more games is there to commentate? Uh, probably like I don't know, anywhere from like five to ten. Oh god, because uh, I'm passing out right now, man. Let's do last game. Okay. Yeah. Well, as in like I'm doing the last game. Yeah. Awesome. You have to join. Okay. Your last casting game. Of the day. You're gonna like leave me to cast for the rest of it. All right, thanks. No, it's it's not that. Man. It's just that. No, 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 no. I see how it is. You, you just hate me. That's how it is. No, I had only four hours of sleep, and I'm like literally passing out right now. And uh, I guess I could just keep going and like commentate more. <laughs> I'll just need to grab a drink at the point, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Feel free to do whatever you want. All right, so spotting the bottom right. The uh, person who nearly got a, like, nearly lost last game, it is Salvation Army's Prozoic. And then spawning in the top left, it will be the uh, Teal Zerg, uh, Teal, uh, Terran, no, no, yeah, Teal, Terran, Elena, Pain Clans, Elena. Again. Yes. Teal again. Oh, man. Uh, I'll be interested if it's going to be a quick, short game, or if this is going to be really long macro style again. I, I don't know, by the bars, it looks like it's, it might be at least a 30 minute long game. Uh oh. You shouldn't spoil a time, man. I can't see that. I'm just uh, assuming. I don't know. It might be faster than that. But, um. Can't let's just hope that it's not too long or boring. It can be long. It can be enough hours and fun. As long as it's fun and yeah. entertaining. And uh, he's putting down a supply depot right at the entrance, I guess, to serve both purposes of uh, blocking the entrance and uh, seeing whether he's going for that fast sunken attack or not. Yeah. Uh, and it does look like a nine pool actually went down. Yep. Uh, so nine pool is speed, um, and we'll be just checking for that any kind of sunken play. You know, that's really annoying. <laughs> I've seen so many games where that just like just dominates. Like a Protoss or anyone, they just don't. They just they just they just put their buildings up right by their command center, and they just don't see that coming. And it, it does indeed dominate any kind of player. That's one of the advantages it has in the, on this map is uh, they have the ability to rush. And not only that is is the fact that if you choose not to rush, your natural expansion is so easily defensible. Yeah. And yeah, that's one of the cool things about Brood War in general. Like, um, I was listening to uh, one of a cast the other day, and uh, the um, person was talking about like what Brood War is so awesome is the like the, the variations of like different like mechanics on that a map will have. Like this one, for example, like a creep colony, you know, and just like you could just like bum rush their opponent, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, and I mean that's the thing. It's uh, versatile strategic uh, opportunities you have. You can either go twelve patch. And uh, secure it very easily, or you can go fast rush and just uh, put a sunken down. Some maps actually favor Terran. Like there's maps where you're th uh, you have natural expansion, and then you have a base behind your main base. Yeah. Which, in order to get to, you have to go through your natural, uh, then your main, and then. Are you seeing get this? There. Huh? Are you seeing this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Great colony's down. He's putting a bunker on the high ground, though. So he, so he doesn't prefer this. 
this is honestly the only thing he can do right now. However, uh, three SUVs might not be enough. And if I was him, what I would be doing right now is I'd be sending my Zerglings uh, in front of the bunker so to draw the fire that bunker is actually uh, doing. Hmm. He may just be target firing though with the bunker though. I mean, you can do that as well. But he's getting a lot of SCV kills though. <laughs> and it looks like he. Not only does he is he getting SCV kills, it looks like he will be able to. Yeah, it looks like he won't be able to do it though. He won't be. He will be able to do nothing. Yeah, so it's like a little sad, but you know, it, it's nice to see that kind of rush play. I mean, it was easily thwarted, but that's it's all good. Cross position on the map though, it's pretty large. You know. I did manage to. Uh push him back, push yeah. him to build down that, he made him build a bunker, and uh, he has no gas, he he was repairing his supply, he's just about to get his expansion. I think that was a very cost effective trade, what do you think? I think, I mean, despite the, like, like he only, what, it was like 75 minerals, or like 150 to get that sunken up, and then he would have got like 4 SCV kills, 3 SCV kills, I think it's very well worth it. Yeah, I, I, I. I do believe it's worth it because 120 minerals is definitely worth uh, all the SCVs he killed and all the marines he killed and uh, the fact that he made his opponent throw down a bunker. Mm. And it looks like he's actually just going to try to ram through again. Or actually no, what it looks like he's about to do is actually he's just saving up links and in case of... Uh, if his opponent decides to do an early kind of push to do a backstab. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he's going to know about these links on the high ground. You know? Um, but, you know, I mean, I think we may just transition to more of like a, a more of a just a standard macro game at this point. Um, I don't, I don't think, I mean, we, it, I mean, we just, we saw like the equivalent to like a one backs expand, just a little bit more delayed. Um, but yeah, but it looks like he's, yeah, he's gonna go for a timing push with, um, plus one and stim. Uh, with that eBay coming up. So, I mean, I mean, spare, uh, okay, so, Laird's almost done, so he's almost gonna inspire. And he, 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 uh, Terran's, uh, command center for the natural expansion is almost done, and the fact that it's so easy to secure your natural is, uh, actually does put Zerg at a disadvantage as well, because... Uh, Zergling run buys is usually the way that you take down your natural or you can just surround it completely or just overrun it with Zerglings. While here you have to use drops or uh, you have to go Muta Rush, which is the uh, reason why uh, Alvik is going Mutalist right now is because he knows that the only way to do the most efficient harassment right now is if I go Muta. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, you know what? What, what I want to do right now? I kind of want to just wait for the the map of the week on iCup to be uh, this map, and just play Zerg and just see if the win rate of just sunken rushing, nine pooling, sunken rushing. I just want to see how many games I could win by that, like by one week of just just doing that all day long. Well, it it, it really depends because uh, if you play against other Zerg, it's not really that effective. Yeah. But against Protoss. <laughs> it could, it can work against Protoss, but what Protoss tends to do is they go uh, F, they go FE uh, they go fast expand style yeah. blockade, which uh, pretty much eliminates any possibility of sunkins. Yeah, no, that's very true. But yeah, I I, I just want to try that and just be like a jerk to everyone and just just <laughs> just sunken rush on this map. I th I think it's part of the map pool of like every once in a while, but I don't think it's very that 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 actually. Hold on, let's see. What are the maps of this week? I have no idea. Dante's actually. Peak, Tornado, Longinus, Fighting Spear, and Andromeda. Yeah, so those are never, those aren't like super specialty maps for Zerg or anything. So. Oh yeah, no match point. Is it no? Is it match point or uh or Blue Storm? Yeah, Blue Storm is a very Zerg favoring map. Yeah. I know. Because of because of the whole like the the narrow path that only zerglings and like small units can fit through and whatnot, yeah. and uh, the high ground at the natural expansion over the minerals. Yeah, will definitely help. Um. And, oh yeah. Go and on. Ne never mind. He canceled the spire and he went for lurkers. Yeah. Which I mean, in this scenario, I'd always rather see lurker against bio. It's I feel like it's just more effective, and especially with, like, current meta anyway, when you just want to, like, 
out meta your opponent. I mean, you can also uh, Willie exposed his uh, links yet, but you can also put lurkers on like the high ground and just pick off stuff from there. But you know, not only that though, like it's so meta to go mutilists now. I mean, you could just force out turrets without them really knowing anything. You know. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing uh, you're exactly you're talking about is this high ground that his earlings were on. Uh, having at least like having even one lurker there will uh, pretty much cause enough damage for the Terran to either uh, force to lift off or just uh, because he he doesn't have his his starport yet. His factory is just going out. Uh, he's not gonna get science vessel for a while, and scans not really. If, and because you have to use them very efficiently. Hmm. Um. And just just to know right now, he's he's he just morphed in six lurkers, and he has to, he's still stockpiling with one k of gas. Well, he has five lurkers already. Yeah. Out. So it's gonna be. Um. And he even has like two back at home base. So any kind of bio push is gonna be pretty thwarted. So. And, and look at that. He did. Avoid the the engagement with Terran army, so instead he's pretty much doing the traditional backstab right now. Yeah. And it's very effective. He's actually pushing in. He's gonna get those lurkers in. There's no army to defend whatsoever. Yeah, he's wow. gonna just decimate this place. And yeah, he looks like it's he only has enough for one scan too, which is un isn't gonna be enough to kill off the rest of these lurkers. Well, and not only that, he also forced uh, Atlanta to retreat all the way back. And pretty much being untouched, and just uh, when he'll come back, he, he's gonna walk in and in line. He's not gonna be able to uh, avoid all the fire. Yeah. And he did lose a lot of marines. Yeah. As you can see right there. I think th I think Prozoic won again. Um, Prozoic showing a pretty nice play. I like this a lot. Um, Oh, I, I hate I, I I hate seeing the, like the effect of like so many Marines just dying. It's just like blah 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 blah. Pretty I crazy. Know. No, I, this is very clear. I, I do enjoy this kind of scenery. <laughs> it's like scares. It's, like, ah, it's oh, it's just it's just uh, it's just a hard it's just a hard thing to see. So Atlanta did uh, get butt raped right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is quite a. A bad situation to be in, and instead of uh, GGing or trying to not to engage with lurk it, with uh, engage in attack with lurkers is uh is not a good idea right now. He's in trouble. Yeah, I think Elena got metagamed. That's probably the best way to say it. And uh, I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna lift off and be a complete ass. <laughs> Just because <laughs> like last game, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. That would not be a good thing. If Elena does that, he he or she has lost a lot of respect in the, in the community. <laughs> Those tanks are done, yeah. So, I mean, like, and now they're going to start bringing lings and stuff. Okay, oh, fucking oh. love. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even GG. Oh, I, I want to There's so many of these games that I want to see live. Like, they're like, they're like, what just happened? Like, I just want to see that. Like, you see it, like, the pro scene sometimes. Like, they have, like, I know exactly. Why? Somehow, the, miraculously, my colors on my StarCraft are fine for the first time. Oh, yeah? Uh, you know, you, you can fix that by just changing, uh, killing off Explorer, like, uh, control all escape and then del ex um, delete Explorer, and then rerun it whenever you're ready. Oh, uh, no. Actually, uh, I'm gonna... Well, let's do another game. Another game. You're, you're feeling up to it? You're feeling up to another cast? Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna run and grab a drink real quick. Okay. I hope you don't mind. No, it's fine. All right. Mm. So much casting today. So much casting. So let me see. We have um. We have no talk on the chat on the Twitch.tv chat, guys. You can use it. I, I You know we could interact with us. I feel. I feel like I'm talking to like no one. Like nine percent of the time. I mean, there's viewers. Unless unless one of you. Like, opened up like a thousand tabs, and then, yeah. But still, I mean, like we still have like what, like eleven or like twenty-two favorites or whatever. I I don't even know. But anyway. Okay, so while we're waiting for him, the next game is gonna be. Mm, let's see here. We saw game one, series number one. 
Shit, I totally forget who's winning right now. Okay, let me get a piece of paper. I'll be right back. Hold on. Let me get a piece of paper. Be right back in my third year. Okay, so let me see here. Get a piece of paper. Okay. Okay. So let's let's do this for a second. If we have, if we have, um, oopsie. Let me go back to these replays here. I'm trying, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay. Where's a pen? Sharpie pencil works. Okay. Um, for to do do do. We have the 2x2, which, when what, 2, try to figure it out. Here are the 2x2, two, two. try to remember. I know Cozy won the Brozoa, so Pain, so what, Pain won. Versus Brozoa. Brozo, we had Elena. Elena versus Prozoic. Prozoic won that, so we had um, Salvation Army win one. Oh yeah, okay. So so Salvation Army won the the two x two. So they had one win. Elena versus Prozoic. And I believe Cozy won the other one. The um so right now so it's two one so far. So so while we're waiting for him to come back. Um we had Alright, so that leaves Marine versus um Salvation Army's Yeti, which I really like Yeti Yeti's play. Um but I kinda of forget his play, but I did like Yeti a lot. Um Oh. Yeti, and then we had Michael versus Al. I think we'll do Michael. I think we'll do Michael because he's going to be very interesting to watch. And while we have, you know, while we still have Frost with us, why don't we do a fun game? Now, if you guys want to kill Cash, feel free uh, whenever he leaves if you want to join. But, um, let's see here. Skype. We have... No, I don't have anyone else on Skype that's gonna count Kokas. Besides this dude, but he's still not with us, so Sniper is Ridge. Okay, so we'll we'll finally add I believe Michael the Pro uh, Rotos. I could be wrong. Let's see here. Oh wait, we got something right here. Yo, I'm here. You're not talking. And I'm not muted. Oh, there we go. My my mic switch was off. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I did not mute Skype this time. Did not accidentally. Okay. So I'm in game. We'll do. Well, we're gonna do Michael versus um. A O Ow Ow. I think that's what his name's gonna be. Uh, if you guys if you guys didn't realize, if you didn't realize, Frost, Salvation Army's up two. I am paid up one. So two wins. So are you ready to join this game on Super Switch? Oh, I'm already in. All right, so let's do this. Let's. All right. All right. So, getting into this awesome game. All right. Uh, do not mind the overlay. I have to change it. Okay. Spawning at the top left will be Salvation Army's Ow, as as the uh, as the. Uh, that's, I, uh, that's an interesting name. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the Red Protoss. And spawning in the bottom left, it'll be the White Zerg. Uh. Pains, Michael. I, you know what? You've been the luckiest person ever, because there is so much Zerg. Like this is our no, first Protoss of the day. Like, and, and, and in this one, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Zerg's gonna win because out of all the matchups, the one I hate the most is ZVP. I, because ZVP to me is like, it, it's my soft spot. Like I can't stand that kind of matchup because I lose to Protoss more than to anything else. Oh, well, you know, I was reading, right, the other day about, like, 
about like the Hydra bus, right? And yeah. I was like, every time I've seen it, it has like a ninety percent fail rate in like every game I've seen. Of casting like it does not have a high win rate at all. I'm not sure if that's what you see, but like, uh, Zergs right now are having a lot of difficulty with Protoss, of what I've seen right now. It just it just seems like what what's happening. I don't know what. But the thing with the, with Zerg is that uh, the the problem that I have. Is